Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Dash app that connects between a radio button and the Dash AG grid. It actually uses the radio button value to filter the age column and rows um, of the Dash AG grid. Now in Dash AG grid, you, you, can, you have um, filters that you can use, like right here, we put a date filter as well. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect it to a radio button, which then will allow you to understand how to connect it to a drop down, a checklist, um, and any other Dash component can actually be used to filter certain columns of Dash AG Grid. So to do this, just go to the GitHub link under the video, um, um, uh, copy the code, and paste it into your computer. It'll make it a lot easier for you to follow along. This code was built by uh, a friend of mine and a very active community member called uh, Sebastian. Um, so let's go over it. Here we have our libraries that we're importing. So don't forget to install dash AG grid, dash and pandas. Then we're going to incorporate this um, CSV sheet that is on GitHub. We're going to incorporate it into a pandas data frame. We're going to define our column um, name fields and you know width and some filters here and there. And then this filter function is what we are going to use in the callback below to uh, create this uh, filter interactivity. So we'll go over that in, in about one minute. And then we have the layout, right? In the layout, we have our radio buttons with four different options. As you can see here, four different options. And then we have our AG grid that as you probably know by now, only needs a row data and column definition to display your columns and rows and data into uh, onto the page. So what we are doing here to create the filter is we are taking the value of this ID, which is the radio button, right? We're taking the value. Initially, let's put it as everyone. And we're going to activate the callback. So whenever I change the radio button, it's going to activate the callback function and return something. Now this is the this is this is the core. This is what you really need to understand. It's returning a dictionary into the dash grid options property of dash ag grid. This is the ID, right? So it's actually returning this. But this I'm not putting here because uh, this is this is not dynamic. I want it to be dynamic. I want the filter value to be dynamic, not always below 25. I want it. I want it to be maybe uh, above 25, between 25 and 50, above 50. And this function will sometimes be true, will sometimes be false. Uh, so you don't you don't need to put it. You shouldn't put this property here. It's just going to help you understand that we are returning this exact dictionary into the dash AG grid um, property like this. Now, what is it actually doing? We're saying if the filter value, the radio button does not equal everyone, it's this or this or this, then declare this key function as true. And what does this mean is that is external filter present? We're saying yes, true. Now you can look at this line of code. I'll repeat that. If anything beside everyone is clicked, you have to make this true so the dash AG grid knows to look for an external function, which is the function that we built right here. If it's not, if it does equal everyone, if everyone was chosen, then this equals false. Is external present false? So it disregards this line of code disregards this line of code, which is the same, and it's not going to filter anything. It's just going to show the whole, the whole data, right? 23, 27, 50, any, any age. All right. One last example, one last explanation. So if this is not equal to everyone, we're going to say, look for an external function, which is going to be this does external function uh, f filter pass. And this we're going to assign to the function this function that we created, right? Filter function, and we're going to access the key, which is right here. So we're accessing one of these four keys, right? So this doesn't really matter because we never really use everyone. This function will be 
uh, irrelevant. But if we choose below 25, what's happening is it's going to take the age column of AG grid and it's going to say uh, filter the data so the age column only shows those rows under 25. If we take above 25, filter the age column so it only shows those rows above 50, right? And if again, if we choose everyone, now everyone is going to become true. So this becomes false, this external present, which means that this line of code is irrelevant because we are dash AG grid will not be looking for an external function. Right, this was a quick tutorial on combining components to filter dash AG grid. I hope it was helpful. Thank you, Sebastian. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Have a good one. Um, always remember, we're better together, so help each other out.